Yeah, yeah, we got a man on the right now. You newspaper guys think what? You know what you can do. Yes, miss. Detective Corella here? Uh, no, he's not. Can I help you? When will he be back? It's due to relieve at 5.45. Oh, wait. Now, uh, look, miss, there. No visitors allowed in the squad room except on business now. If you want to... I'm here on business. Can one of us help you then? I'll wait for Corella. Then you'll have to wait on the bench outside. I'm sorry, miss, but those are the regulations. I'll wait right here. Oh, uh, look, miss, we know you want to see a particular detective, but neither of us will do. It's a 38. It's loaded, and I know how to use it. Understand now? Clear. Crystal clear. She goes on the desk. Look, miss, this is a police station. You can't run in here with a gun. You want me to shoot, mister? Put your gun on the desk. For Corella. Why? To kill him. To what? Who else is in this place right now? It's just the two of us on this floor, that's all. How many detectives on duty? Six. And only two are minding the store. Don't lie to me. I'm telling you the truth. The other four are out on squeals. Who's in charge? In Lieutenant's absence, I am. What's your name? Detective Meyer. What's yours? Kling. Who else is in the building? Pete Six, you want me to give you a complete rundown of everything going on around here? Yes. Well, there's Sergeant Murchison, who's the desk sergeant. There may be a desk lieutenant with him. There isn't always. There isn't. Who else? It's Captain Howard, who's in command of the entire precinct. His office is downstairs. Who else? There are 186 patrolmen attached to this precinct. Would you like me to account for all of them? Yeah. One third of them are off duty now. The rest are either walking their beats or in this building somewhere. And the detectives, they come back up here? The guess is as good as mine. That's a me. I just did, I don't know. Detectives make their own schedules. Corella, he'll be back at 5.45. Is that what you said? 
That's what I said. That's when we're to do to be relieved. What have you got against Corella, lady? He killed my husband. When was this? Today. Today? Steve hasn't even been on duty today. My husband died today. In the hospital in Castleview Prison. Well, look, lady, Corella can't be held responsible for that. Corella sent him up. Look, if Steve arrested him, he was only doing his job. Corella arrested him and pressed the DA for a conviction and testified and did everything he could to send Frank to jail. Oh, he knew Frank was sick. He killed him just as sure as if he shot him. Frank who, lady? Frank Colt. Frank Colt. I knew your husband, Mrs. Colt. He was a criminal. Corella only did what any one of us would have done. You shut your mouth, mister. I'm only telling you what you already know. Now, how are you going to help him by coming up here with a gun? He's already dead, isn't he? Corella isn't. So then what are you going to do? Shoot Corella? Then what? How do you expect to get out of here? I'll get out. You fire that gun and every cop within ten miles is going to come barging upstairs. Look, talk sense, will you? What do you want? You want the electric chair? I don't want to live without Frank. Look, Mrs. Cole, take some advice. Just put down that gun and get out of here. No. Yes. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go to that phone and I'm going to dial a desk sergeant. And I'm going to tell him there's some nut up here waving a gun in front of us. Unless you decide to leave before I dial. Now, make up your mind. Put down that phone. This is nitroglycerin. said you knew my husband. How many times did you pick him up for cracking safes? Safe crackers don't use that stuff anymore. It's too unpredictable. That, that stuff will blow if you breathe on it. Frank Coat used it. Now put down that phone. I don't believe you. Well, go ahead. Take the big gamble, huh? Let's blow up the whole building. I forgot. I just forgot, all right? What is it, a crime to forget something? Don't walk away when I'm talking to you. There's one thing I can't stand is when you turn your back on my words. Don't turn your back when I'm talking to you. I've never seen you like this before. You think I promised to... Will you please, please face me when I'm talking to you? I know, I know, I know we wrote it down. I can read it, but I have to be at the squad room at six anyway. I know, I promised to take you for a drink with the Walshes at four, but what's so important about having a drink with the Walshes at four o'clock? I know, I know you're important. Look, don't you think I want to please you? Don't you know I love you? Well, I do. Look, I can't help it if I have to question this man. I, I wrote that down, too. I just forgot, that's all. Well, look, don't you know this is business, honey? No, I can't change the time. The man has important information. Okay, okay. So you bought a new dress. Now, it isn't the end of the world. You can wear the dress some other time. Take it easy. The dress costs much. Holy mackerel! What do you think I am, the commissioner? Don't you ever call me a flatfoot. 
Now, you listen, I have to see this man. I am going to see this man. I'm sorry I broke up your little cocktail party, but this happens to be more important. I thought you'd realize that, but apparently you're just a selfish little girl of... Now, look. I'm going straight from the meeting to the squad room. I'll be there around six. Goodbye. <laughs> Seventh squad, clean. Bert, let me talk to the lieutenant. I'm sorry, sir. He's not in today. Oh? Well, it wasn't that important. Are hey, you fellas handling it all right up there? I think you ought to check on that yourself, sir. What? Check on what? Uh, I'd run up and see for myself, sir. That's enough. Yes, sir. That would appear to be the best way. Either run up yourself or send up a patrolman. Hang up. Captain Howard. Are there extensions on all these phones? Yeah. Well, that's just fine. Because from now on, I'm going to listen to every call that goes in and out of this place. What good's that going to do? There are eight million people out there. And not one single one of them can help you. <laughs> Flashed a guy from here to... Don't touch the gun. What is this? You better do what she says, Raj. That's nitro in that bottle. Uh, never a dull moment around here. You mind if I take off my hat, lady? Put the gun on the desk first. Real thorough, huh? Maybe you give me the creeps. Is that really a bottle of soup? Yep. Yeah? Well, I'm from Missouri. You gotta prove it to me. Don't fool around with her, Rod. She's out of her mind. She came here to kill Steve. Well, it just, it just could be tap water, you know. Could be. You wanna find out. Do I look like a hero? No. Okay, we check the gun. Okay, let's take the hat now. Might as well sit down, baby. A bottle on the desk. It's nice old glycerin. What do you mean? The bottle. Nitro. Nitro? Do you mean like a bomb? I mean like a bomb. Bomb. Oh. Madrecita de los santos. Yeah, he said it. Quiet in here. He'll know. Corolla will know. He'll come down that hall and he'll know something's wrong. Now, I want sound in this room. I want you to type and, and do your filing and whatever it is you do. Now, come on. Get to work! Come on, miss. I'll take down your pedigree. What's your name? Robin Bless. Your name? Como se llama? Angelica Galindo. 
She speaks English. I don't speak English. Don't believe her. I don't think she does in Spanish. It's cuss. Look, Angelica, you play ball with us. We play ball with you, okay? I don't know what means play ball. Just tell us all about it. Why did you cut the guy's throat? What guy are you speaking about? So more than one. I don't slit nobody's throat. No? Well, who did it then? Santa Claus? Now tell us, what did you do with the razor blade? A patrolman broke it up, Bert. Couldn't find the blade, though. Thanks, you jumped down on sewer. Is that what you do with the blade? I don't have no eraser blade. I don't cut nobody. Look, who are you trying to snow? You got a dozen witnesses. Was bothering me. How? Was trying to get fresh with me. Oh, come on now. He was. Oh. It's not funny. So you slit his throat. See? Because he made a pass. Que si. What do you think, Bert? I believe her. It's the truth. Well, in the meantime, you better hope he pulls through. I hope the pig rats in his grave. Nice girl. I thought that was nitroglycerin. If anybody comes up here, it was an accident. This gun went off accidentally. Nobody was hurt. Do you hear me? This is what we're going to have to get a doctor for. You're going to have to get nothing for it. Look, this man's been shot. Get away from him. Sit down. Hey, Meyer, what was that? What? I don't know. Sound like a shot up here. Yeah, yeah, that, that's what it was. Um, went off by accident. Nobody got hurt. All the calls we get about shooting accidents, we'll have to send you boys back to police school. Yeah. Yeah, well, we'll, we'll be more careful. Man, scared the living bejabbers out of me. Got a little business today, huh? Yeah. Well, as so long as everything's okay, I'll be seeing you, Meyer. Forthwith. Huh? Well, uh, I'll be seeing you, huh? Doing. Nancy's good. He needs a doctor. Why don't you talk to her? 
What good's that going to do? You're in charge, aren't you, Maya? Am I? As long as she's got that bottle, I can't do anything. You want me to kill everybody in this room? I just want you to get a doctor before a man's been shot. No doctor. Forget it. No doctor. Does that answer you? Yeah, that answers me, all right. Stop that talking and get away from him. Come on. What's the matter, mister? You sore at me? No, I just want to hold your hand. It's just too bad. You could stay sore. Why do you want Corella? He sent my husband to jail. Who's your husband? Frank Colt. Was. Was. Was my husband. He died today. A cheap thief. Corella stole nothing in you but a punk. Shut your mouth. You're crazy. She went home to that bottle. Come on, leave her alone, my de Dios. Is that a really bomb? Yes. Where'd you get it, huh? Her big shot husband listed among his various credits a few safe cracking jobs. Nobody asked you. The young lady asked. Gonna explode that bomb? If I have any trouble. Why? Why don't you stop asking stupid questions? Guess you mean business, huh? Hey, why'd you know that we go? You gotta be kidding, Chiquita. Why, you don't let me walk out of here, huh? You the boss here? Okay, I walk out, okay? You stay. Por qué? What for? You stay. Oh, come on. Stay. Did you got no heart? something. I hate this city. Do you know why? No manners. That's the truth. And things are rough all over, honey. Nobody in the city ever has time to talk. And everybody got time for everything. Hey, listen. Will I go to jail? Probably. Oh, look, I, I wouldn't worry too much. They'll give you a fair shake. Oh, sure. Sure. Tell you something. Puerto Rico, I'm a pretty girl. Oh, here too, I am pretty. But I'm also, you know, cheap. I am look at here and men think different. Puerto Rico, there's respect. Uh, how do you mean? Puerto Rico. Go 
walks down the street. And then they look, and they watch. It's a pretty thing to see, do you know? It's the one, it's appreciated. So a little comical to tell the truth. But here is always the thinking cheap. Not my fault, I don't speak so good English. I learn Spanish. Real Spanish. I know very high Spanish, very good school Spanish. But Spanish is not good here. I don't know. Maybe it's my fault. But I hate this city. I'm in very big trouble now for that. Hey, why you not let me go on? I couldn't do that. I didn't if I wanted to. The lady with the bottle of nitro isn't letting anyone out of here. Isn't that right, Mrs. Colt? You going soon, no lady? I'm not going till Corella gets here. Even then, she might just fling that little bottle. It's not right. You just may fling that bottle of nitro because you're feeling a little mean. Or is it nitro? You know, I keep getting the feeling that maybe it's just water. Or hair tonic? Well, why don't you come and take it? Come on, wise guy. Stop talking about it and come and take it. I might just do that, Mrs. Colt. Look, don't do nothing crazy. I want to get out of here, really. If he lives, maybe I got a chance. When I got if he lives. Sure. Actually, you, you got a pretty good chance. So you. Die. I know it. You die and I'll go to prison. By the electric chair. You'll die. I know it. What's the use? Oh, Hello. Uh, can I speak to uh, Detective Corella, please? I'm sorry, he's not in right now. Oh. He's not there, Teddy. Uh, what time do you expect him? Around uh, 6. Is there any message? They don't expect him till around 6. Any message? No, no thank you. No message. Need a minute. Oh, the trees, watch out. Buddy, I'm scared. You know, in the trees, they're gonna shoot. Be careful. Just pull the pin down. Count to three. Throw it. Throw it! Ready! 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 Oh, God, Freddy, you're bleeding all over. Shut him up! I'll stop it. I'll stop it. I'll stop it. I'll stop it. Can't you shut him up? Matter in here. It's suffocating. Why isn't there flannel? Who shut these windows?
audience all the way up. Oh, wise guys. Wise guys. Okay, wise guys, get over here. Get over here and open these windows. Come on, move, open them. Turn on the fan, Shakita. Stairs. Yeah, what is it, then? Well, listen, I know this is silly, but it's been bugging me. What's that, Dave? Well, when I was up there before, I said, I'll be seeing you. Remember? Yeah, yeah, I remember, Dave. And you said, forthwith, remember? Now, everybody knows when a cop says forthwith, it means report immediately. Well, that's right, ain't it? Yeah, that's right, Dave. Well, sir, I've been trying to figure out what you want me to report. It's been driving me nuts. Well, um, you must have misunderstood me, Dave. I never said that. Oh, that's what you said, all right. Forthwith. I heard you, Meyer. Well, I didn't mean anything by it. Oh, well, okay, if you say so. <laughs> I'm telling you, it was driving me nuts. Okay, Meyer. Fourth with. Hmm? Smart. Very smart cop. Well, well, what have we here? The make on Frank Colt, loving husband of the lady with the bottle. Now, isn't this interesting? First arrest at the age of 14 for mugging an old man in the park. He got off with a reprimand in the J.D. card. Because the law took pity on a juvenile offender. Give me that. Yeah, between the ages of 14 and 17, arrested six times for minor offenses. First real hold up at the age of 19. Give me that! What's the matter? Don't you want to hear about your beloved? Don't you want to hear about the great man you're ready to do murder for? I don't have to hear. I know all about it. No, here's Corella's arrest. Your husband held up a gas station, pistol whipped the attendant, blinding him. Corella was off duty driving by, stopped the car to get out to investigate. I warn you! Oh. Hold it, Mrs. Colt. Drop the gun, the girl's dead. Ross, put it down. Drop it! What you got? What's it look like? Wish it was money. I found a dollar once. Wish this was a dollar. The men of the 87th squad are being held prisoner by a woman with a gun and a bottle of nitroglycerin. What's that? I don't know. Is that really what it says? Sure, look. Call headquarters at once. Detective Second Grade Meyer. What's a second grade detective? I don't know. I guess they got grades. Like in school. You gonna do it? You do it. Nobody believes anything I say. That's because I tell lies. Bet you're chicken to call. I am not. Go ahead then. All right. I forgot I ain't allowed to use the phone. I get a dime. I dare you. 
dares go first, you just chicken. Thanks a lot, lady. You got here just in time. Uh, miss, uh, if it's about that silverware, uh, we don't have any further information. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm talking about the silverware taken from your apartment, miss. She's too scared to talk. Don't be scared. I don't want to hurt you. What are you doing here? Huh? What do you want here? What's the matter with you? He's a deaf mute. You can't hear? You can't talk. Can you read lips? Sit down. Write down what you're doing here. Huh. Well, you got a lot more than... You got a lot more than you bargained for, honey. What's your name? Write down your name. Marsha Franklin. That's a pretty name. You're a pretty girl. Don't worry, I won't hurt you. You ever been in love, Marsha? And you know what it's like? Well, someone killed the man I love. And now I'm going to kill him. You'd do that, wouldn't you? I'm sure you would. You're very pretty, Marsha. <laughs> you know? I was pretty once, till they took my man away from me. A woman needs a man. Life's no good without a man. My man's dead. And I'm going to kill the man that killed him. I'm going to kill a louse named Steve Carella. There's nitroglycerin in that bottle, miss. Any sudden movement, it'll blow up. And kill a lot of people. Get down. Seven squad, Detective Kling. Just a second. Better turn that over the Bunko squad. What will we be doing with a pickpocket file? Can't you see him on the phone? Go ahead. Hello. Who am I speaking to? Bert Kling. Is this the 87 squad, huh? Yeah, who is this? Well, this is Sergeant Sullivan down at headquarters. We got a call a little while ago. Yeah, it was clocked in at uh, just a second now. 545, that's right. Uh-huh. Yeah, some kid said he found a DD report on the street. A uh, message typed on it, something about a dame and a bottle of nitro. You know anything about it? No. There's, uh, there's nothing like that up here. Well, that's what I figured. But the kid gave his name and all. Sounded like it might be a real squeal. Well, that's the way it goes. No harm in checking. No. No, certainly no harm in checking. Oh, incidentally. You got a detective up there by the name of Meyer, Meyer? Yeah, we have a detective, Meyer. Uh, second grade? 
Yeah. That's funny. It said the note was signed by a second grade named Maya Maya. Huh. Yeah, that sure is funny. Well, no harm in checking, anyway. Can't you see I'm still on the phone? Well, I gotta go now, Kling. Yeah, it seems my partner here can't do anything without me. Nice talking to you. Bye. After six o'clock. Now you said he'd be here quarter to six. That's what I said. Do you ever had to wait for anything, Marsha Franklin? Marsha Franklin, you're like I've been waiting here all my life. You rotten thing. I know better where you should wait. Oh, ho, ho. Chiquita saw, huh? Cha, cha, cha. Don't be so, Chiquita. Maybe tomorrow your name will be in the newspapers. And maybe your name, too. And maybe it'll be in the dead columns. Sit down. Shh. Newspapers, huh? Cops and newspapers. Newspapers and cops. During my husband's trial, there was a story in the newspapers about how Steve Carella's wife was a deaf mute. Oh, boy. Ha! <laughs> Death mute. Mrs. Stephen Corella. In case of emergency, call Detective Steve Corella, 87th Precinct, Circle 6. Four oh nine eight. What about it, Marsha Franklin? What about it? Huh? Mrs. Stephen Corella? Huh? Oh, and pretty. Pretty, well-fed, easy, well-groomed, pretty. I was pretty once, you know that? Look at me. Look at me. I look like death. Your husband, your husband, killed my husband. Your husband robbed me of my Frank. Ooh, ooh, I could rip that face. I could rip that face. Get the gun, get the gun! Don't let that fire. 
Give away. Everybody. Give me the gun. Nobody fool. Away from that desk, everybody. Back. Back. Angelica, don't be a fool. Give me the gun. Shut up and don't tell me nothing. Do you think I'm going to die for some pig who got funny with me? Angelica, this is not the way. Give me the gun. No, move back. And I kill anybody who tries to stop me. Not a girl. Give me the gun. What? Give me the gun. You're crazy. I'm going now. Sure you are. You give me the gun, I'll cover for you. Angelica, don't do it. She's a killer. Well, why I give you the gun? Are you on their side? The ones that want to send you to jail? No. If you take that gun with you, they jump me. They're on that phone in three seconds flat, and every cop in the city is looking for you. I don't know. I... Don't listen to her, Angelica. She's making you an accessory. You're just getting in deeper. And what you got to offer me, prison? Come on. Give me the gun. You hold them back? Yeah. You hold them back? Dave, take her downstairs. Put cuffs on her. And put a man in front of her cell. Well, what happened? What's all the shooting? Never mind, just get moving. You better get an ambulance. Muscullo's hurt. Hey, Dave. There's another customer for you. Hi. What's going on? Everybody asleep? <laughs> take it easy. Honey, I tried to call you, but Mrs. Donovan said you were out. I'm sorry. I haven't even had a chance to get dinner yet. Meyer, do you feel like sticking around just a little bit longer? I just want to take Teddy out for a bite, huh? Sure, sure. Just let me finish this report. It'll only take five minutes to type up. <laughs> yeah, 87 Squad, Gorilla. Oh, hi, Levy. How are you? Yeah, fine, thanks. What's up? Oh, what bottle? What about it? Okay, thanks. Yeah, take it easy, boy. That was Levy, bomb squad. Didn't anybody send over a bottle? Yeah. Well, he wanted to report on it. What'd he say? Well, he said it was. What? It was? That's what the man said. It was what? Nitroglycerin. Oh. Well, did you ever have one of those days when everything goes wrong? First, I had to drive all the way over to Bethlehem. And I finished with this guy, and I've got a flat. You should have seen the traffic on the bridge coming home. I be out behind this streetcar. I think it was going maybe 20 miles an hour. Must have taken me 40 minutes to cross town. I came downstairs, I couldn't even find a place to park. Well, I'll tell you, this was a day.